They call this Major League Baseball player Zamboni. What? Coming up. Hello again, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me, as always. My name is Troy Rudder, a.k.a. TTM Troy, and I want to thank you for tuning into this video today. As you may or may not know, on this channel, I try to teach you how to collect autographs through the mail from your current celebrities. Now, that could be sports stars, that could be entertainment celebrities, and I actually have an entertainment TTM coming up in a future video. It was almost a two-year wait but not today. Today I have some cards that I don't know what the deal is because I have had these on my desk for a while and I think I record the video and then I go to, to I pull them out and I go to edit the video and I'm saying, okay, I can't find the video. So for some reason, this video has been delayed like two or three times because I'm like, did I do that video? I thought I did that video. And so I put them aside and I'm like, I don't think I've done that video, and so I'm bringing them back up. So hopefully, hopefully I have never actually put these in a video, and I'm not going crazy. But if I am going crazy, I'm taking you guys with me, all right? <laughs> so let us get straight into the TTMs today because let's. I, these have been waiting for a while. So I got a couple hockey and a couple baseball, and like I said, one of the baseball players has a hockey name for some reason. So here you go. Boom. All right, first we have Kurt Giles. He signed two of two in 10 days via his home in Minnesota. You can see the address right there. Now, wherever possible, I do try to give the address unless it is um, either not listed on fanmail.biz or not easily available. And I do that because there are a lot of us that pay for addresses on sites like Star Tiger, and it would be not a good thing for someone with access who is paying to just give out successes like that. And I'm, I am I have in the past, and <laughs> I've gotten uh, some pretty big hate mail over it. So that is just my policy. Your mileage may vary, but that is that. Uh, so Mr. Giles, or Giles, <laughs> played from 1979 to 1993 for the North Stars, the Rangers, and the St. Louis Blues. Now, while he was with the North Stars, he helped them to get to the Stanley Cups in 1981 and 1991. I don't believe they won either time, however. And he is currently a hockey coach at a school in Minnesota who just happened to win the state title in 2010, 2013, 2014, and most recently in 2019. So I think his job is pretty darn safe. <laughs> so thank you again, Kurt Giles. Next we have Gary Shuchuk. He signed one of one in 10 days via his home in Wisconsin. Now this is one of those addresses that if you would like it, you would need to go to either Star Tiger, which is my preferred address site, or probably sportscollectors.net would probably have it as well. Anyway, he played from 1990 to 2004 for the Red Wings and the LA Kings. Yes, just two teams there. Now, he made it to the Stanley Cup in 1993, but the team lost to the Montreal Canadiens there. And after that, he also played in the IHL and the AHL. And also in 1990, he was on the Canada team for the Goodwill Games. And most recently, in 2017, he was named head coach of the Janesville Jets of the NAHL. Gary Shechuk. Next, we have Tom Griffin. He signed one of one in 12 days via his home in California. Again, the address for this is on Star Tiger. Now, Mr. Griffin played from 1969 to 1982 for the Astros, the Padres, the Angels, the Giants, and the Pirates. And one of his claim to fame is he actually threw a one-hitter in 1974 against the Pirates. And that's really all I really know about Tom Griffin. But that is pretty cool. He had a win-loss record of 77-94 and with a 4.07 ERA and 1,054 strikeouts. Tom Griffin. Next, we have Ken Reitz. He signed 1-1 in 12 days via his home in Missouri. The address for Mr. Reitz is on Star Tiger. Now, he played from 1972 to 1982 for the Cardinals, the Giants, the Cardinals again, the Cubs, and the Pirates. 
He was a member of the 1980 All-Star team and actually won the 1975 Golden Glove winner. There you go. Now, he was the one, like I mentioned in the introduction, that was nicknamed Zamboni because of his uncanny ability to scoop up ground balls. So there you go. And he ended his career with a .260 batting average with 68 home runs and 548 RBIs. Mr. Ken Reitz. So anyway, guys, that is who I have for you today. Now, I do want to go in and show you some more of these things that I have gotten in here uh, from other collectors. Very happy. Now, if you're wondering uh, what's going on here, I'm actually putting together an autograph wall of your autographs. Uh, basically, if you send me a custom card, if you have one, or a postcard, I'm putting it on my wall, just kind of showing and... Uh, uh, giving me a reminder that you guys are all out there, <laughs> out there watching. <I'll, laughs> hopefully, hopefully there's people out there watching. So, uh, <laughs> so here's another one that I have here. Um, and again, if you would like your autograph on my wall, check out the description below. Uh, so I have Eddie Walgren. Now Eddie has a channel here on YouTube called Eddie's Baseball Autographs, and he sent me a card. Uh, when he was a kid, a custom card back when, uh, this is before it really got popular, uh, right there, uh, you know, cause it's, it's a dot matrix printer on the back, which is pretty darn cool. <laughs> so that's him as a kid with his signature there. So that will go up on the wall. Now, what's funny about this is, you know, I talk with, uh, some of the people on Instagram and I actually have a Instagram account called, uh, TTM Tony, because sometimes I get autographs back that say TTM Tony, and he accidentally put Tony. So he is in great company. Martin Sheen, Scott Bakula, Eddie, I think this is awesome. And I know you've apologized already, but don't be apologizing, man. That's that's so funny. I actually thought you meant it as a joke. So uh, I really appreciate that and the card, and that will go up on the wall. Now, I actually had the chance to meet someone in person. <clears throat> Sorry about that in person at a card show here in Iowa recently, Chad Hopkins, and he signed an index card for me. So very happy to see that. You know, if you were in the Midwest traveling through this flat state of Iowa, let me know and maybe we could do something, hook up there. Pretty cool. Um, let's do this one. So this last one that I'll share with you today uh, is from Michael Myers, which is fitting for Halloween coming up. <laughs> and he sent me a custom card that he has from Athletes in Christ and a short letter where he uh, talked about how he had just watched the video of me talking about it and he was thinking of sending out some of these. So he was just elected to his college's Baseball Hall of Fame, and which he says will be in late October. So another Hall of Fame autograph from... Mike Myers. Very cool. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and if you want to be on my autograph wall, like I said, you can just check down below and uh, you will find my address and you can send me something to put on the wall and that would be fantastic. And I do need to kind of uh, figure out where all these are going permanently fairly quickly. So yeah, I got I to gotta get on that. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You know, baseball... Baseball's over. Very sad. And so uh, I'm, I haven't sent anything out in a while. I do have some football cards and I do have some basketball cards. And I know there's uh, people you can send to in the off season, including, you know, former players. But I, I, have, I have a roll of stamps that's not doing it. Like literally, it mocks me by sitting on my desk every single day. It's like, hello. You want to send me out? Okay, maybe it doesn't do that. That'd be kind of weird, but... <laughs> anyway, guys, <clears throat> really appreciate you watching. Hope you had a great October. Hope you had a great baseball season. We will pick baseball up officially probably in February. Haven't decided if I am doing my TTM hot list again. We'll have to check that out. Um, if you want me to do that hot list again, Comment down below and let me know because I put a lot of I put a lot of time and effort into that. And if you guys 
don't think it's worth anything, I'm not going to do it because I, or I might do it just for me. I don't know. So comment down below if you like the hot list, if you look forward to the hot list, because um, I've only gotten the little PayPal thing like once from one person. So thank you, Megan. Megan TT Hobbies gave me the a $5 tip for the hot list this year. And that's, that's pretty much it, but it's okay. I, I like doing it, but if you guys aren't finding any value from it, I just want to know. So there you go. That's your challenge. Comment down below and tell me if you like the TTM hot list, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please check out the playlists that are on my channel. They are kind of, um, I spent some time reorganizing those lately. And like I always say, and I forgot to say in my last video, my Sunday video, may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye. Oh,